Thank goodness you've returned. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. Well, what can I do for you? If you're looking for a good weapon, let me show this to you. Take your basic blunt weapon, such as a mace. Works like a charm against most of those undying horrors down there. And there's nothing better to shatter skinny little skeletons! My friend, Ste oh, Jillian is a fine woman, much adored for her high spirits and her quick laugh. She holds a special place in my heart. She stays on at the tavern to support her elderly grandmother who is too sick to travel. I sometimes fear for her safety, but I know that any man in the village would rather die than see her harmed. What ails you, my friend? Cain is a true friend and a wise sage. He maintains a vast library and has an innate ability to discern the true nature of many things. If you ever have any questions, he is the person to go to. How Pepin saved my grandmother's life, and I know that I can never repay him for that. His ability to heal any sickness is more powerful than the mightiest sword, and more mysterious than any spell you can name. If you ever are in need of healing, Pepin can help you. Psst! Over here! Kane knows too much. He scares the life out of me! Even more than that woman across the river. He keeps telling me about how lucky I am to be alive, and how my story is foretold in legend. I think he's off his crock. Tend of fellow drinking peace? The gal who brings the drink? Oh, yeah. What a pretty lady. So nice, too. I sense a soul in search of the higher you place your faith in one man, the farther it has to fall. Farnham has lost his soul, but not to any demon. It was lost when he saw his fellow townspeople betrayed by the Archbishop Lazarus. He has knowledge to be gleaned, but you must separate fact from fantasy. is pray for us all. Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the lost prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead, killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! Find this Butcher and slay him so that our souls may finally rest. Your death will be avenged. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. Uh... 
my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. I'm glad I caught up to you in time. Our wells have become brackish and stagnant, and some of the townspeople have become ill drinking from them. Our reserves of fresh water are quickly running dry. I believe that there is a passage that leads to the springs that serve our town. Please find what has caused this calamity, or we all will surely perish. Well, what can I do for you? Pippin has told you the truth. We will need fresh water badly, and soon. I've tried to clear one of the smaller wells, but it reeks of stagnant filth. It must be getting clogged at the source. I saw what Farnham calls the Butcher, as it swathed a path through the bodies of my friends. Ah, oh, he swung a cleaver as large as an axe, hewing limbs and cutting down brave men where they stood. I was separated from the fray by a host of small screeching demons, and somehow found the stairway leading out. I never saw that hideous beast again, but his blood-stained visage haunts me to this day. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Risings, thank goodness. I have always tried to keep a large supply of foodstuffs and drink in our storage cellar, but with the entire town having no source of fresh water, even our stores will soon run dry. Please, do what you can, or I don't know what we will do. Yes, Farnham has mumbled something about a hulking brute who wielded a fierce weapon. I believe he called him a butcher. What ails you, my friend? By the light I know of this vile demon. There were many that bore the scars of his wrath upon their bodies when the few survivors of the charge led by Lazarus crawled from the cathedral. I don't know what he used to slice open his victims, but it could not have been of this world. It left wounds festering with disease, and even I found them almost impossible to treat. Beware if you plan to battle this fiend. Hello, my friend. Step... I don't know what I can really tell you about this that will be of any help. The water that fills our wells comes from an underground spring. I have heard of a tunnel that leads to a great lake. Perhaps they are one and the same. Unfortunately, I do not know what would cause our water supply to be tainted. Tend a fellow drinking... Do you drink water? Drink water? Big, big cleaver, killing all my friends. Couldn't stab him, had to run away, couldn't save them. Trapped in a room with so many bodies, so many friends. Ah! Oh. Psst, 
Over here. For once, I'm with you. My business runs dry, so to speak. If I have no market to sell to, you better find out what is going on, and soon. I know more than you think about that grizzly fiend. His little friends got a hold of me and managed to get my leg before Griswold pulled me out of that hole. I'll put it bluntly. Kill him before he kills you and adds your corpse to his collection. Good day. How may my grandmother is very weak, and Garda says that we cannot drink the water from the wells. Please, can you do something to help us? When Farnham said something about a butcher killing people, I immediately discounted it. But since you brought it up, maybe it is true. I sense a soul in search of the people of Tristram will die if you cannot restore fresh water to their wells. Know this, demons are at the heart of this matter, but they remain ignorant of what they have spawned. The Butcher is a sadistic creature that delights in the torture and pain of others. You have seen his handiwork in the drunkard Farnham. His destruction will do much to ensure the safety of this village. All I can do now is pray for us all.
I put this. Where would I put this? I can't carry any more.
I can't cast that yet. I can't carry any more.
I have no room. Some months ago, King Leoric's son, Prince Albert, was kidnapped. The king went into a rage and scoured the village for his missing child. With each passing day, Leoric seemed to slip deeper into madness. He sought to blame innocent townsfolk for the boy's disappearance and had them brutally executed. Less than half of us survived his insanity. The king's knights and priests tried to placate him, but he turned against them and, sadly, they were forced to kill him. With his dying breath, the king called down a terrible curse upon his former followers. He vowed that they would serve him in darkness forever. This is where things take an even darker twist than I thought possible. Our former king has risen from his eternal sleep and now commands a legion of undead minions within the labyrinth. His body was buried in a tomb three levels beneath the cathedral. Please, good master, put his soul at ease by destroying his now cursed form. Well, what can I do for you? I made many of the weapons and most of the armor that King Leoric used to outfit his knights. Oh, I even crafted a huge two-handed sword of the finest mithril for him, as well as a field crown to match. Oh, I still can't believe how he died, but it must have been some sinister force that drove him insane. Hello, my friend. Ah, the story of our king, is it? The tragic fall of Leoric was a harsh blow to this land. The people always loved the king, and now they live in mortal fear of him. The question that I keep asking myself is how he could have fallen so far from the light, as Leoric had always been the holiest of men. Only the vilest powers of hell could so utterly destroy a man from within. Tender fellow drinking geese? I don't care about that. Listen, no skeleton is gonna be my king. Leoric is king. King! So you hear me? Hail to the king! What ails you, my friend? The loss of his son was too much for King Leoric. I did what I could to ease his madness, but in the end, it overcame him. A black curse has hung over this kingdom from that day forward. But perhaps, if you were to free his spirit from his earthly prison, the curse would be lifted. Good day! How oh, I don't like to think about how the king died. I like to remember him for the kind and just ruler that he was. His death was so sad and seemed very wrong somehow. Peer over! Psst. Chamber Butcher, the From Spell Portal down the cast! Saying, am I what see? Look, I am running a business here. I don't sell information, and I don't care about some king that's been dead longer than I've been alive. If you need something to use against this king of the undead, then I can help you out. Get out it figured you haven't? Understand, could you even so simple it make to try die? Chamber Butcher the From Spell Portal Town aghast! Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tower is talking backwards again. Oh, I hate it when he does that. I don't have time to help you decipher his riddle, but I will tell you one thing. Don't get involved with that rapscallion. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and you must have been speaking with Wirt. His is a sad story indeed. That poor child was taken into the labyrinth by the demons. Ripped from the very arms of his mother, Canus. May her soul rest in peace. 
The boy managed to escape, but only after they had chewed off his leg. And he has not been quite sane since. He often speaks in riddles, but his knowledge of the labyrinth may hold some truth. Well, what can I do for you? I was with Farnham that night that Lazarus led us into the labyrinth. I never saw the Archbishop again, and I may not have survived if Farnham was not at my side. I fear that the attack left his soul as crippled as... Well, another did my leg! I cannot fight this battle for him now. But, oh, what if I could? Can't a fellow drink in peace? <laughs> no, you can't let me go back there. I won't let you take me. Too much pain. Too many dead. <laughs> can't get the blood out of my, my mouth. <laughs> What ails you, my friend? I suppose it isn't beyond the realm of possibility if you could bear being in that room again. Your description of the atrocities committed there would be enough to keep me far from it. Good day. How may I serve you? How could you even think of going back to that place? What could be so important? All I can do now is pray for us all. I sense a soul in search of answer. The lair of the butcher is steeped in demonic power, and casting any spell of passage there could cause unexpected results. The dead who walk among the living follow the cursed king. He holds the power to raise yet more warriors for an ever-growing army of the undead. If you do not stop his reign, he will surely march across this land and slay all who still live here. Come <laughs> on. 
I can't carry any more. I can't carry any more.
What's that you say? The mere presence of the demons has caused the water to become tainted? Oh, truly a great evil lurks beneath our town. But your perseverance and courage gives us hope. Please, take this ring. Perhaps it will aid you in the destruction of such vile creatures. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Oh! <laughs> 
Master, I have a strange experience to relate. I know that you have a great knowledge of those monstrosities that inhabit the labyrinth, and this is something that I cannot understand for the very life of me. I was awakened during the night by a scraping sound just outside of my tavern. When I looked out from my bedroom, I saw the shapes of small demon-like creatures in the inn yard. After a short time they ran off, but not before stealing the sign to my inn. I doubt now why the demons would steal my sign, but leave my family in peace. It is strange, no? Stay for a moment. I have a story you might find interesting. A caravan that was bound for the Eastern Kingdoms passed through here some time ago. It was supposedly carrying a piece of the heavens that had fallen to Earth. The caravan was ambushed by cloaked riders just north of here along the roadway. I searched the wreckage for this sky rock, but it was nowhere to be found. If you should find it, I believe that I can fashion something useful from it. Well, what can I do for you? My friend, stay a while and listen.
What can I do for you? Wow, what can I do for you? Demon stole Ogden's sign, you say? That doesn't sound much like the atrocities I've heard of or seen. Demons are concerned with ripping out your heart, not your signpost. I'm still waiting for you to bring me that stone from the heavens. I know that I can make something powerful out of it. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising... As I told you, good master, the king was entombed three levels below. He's down there, waiting in the putrid darkness for his chance to destroy this land. Master, I have a strange experience to relate. I know that you have a great... Hello, my friend. I see that this strange behavior puzzles you as well. I would surmise that since many demons fear the light of the sun and believe that it holds great power, it may be that the rising sun depicted on the sign you speak of has led them to believe that it too holds some arcane powers. Hmm, perhaps they are not all as smart as we have feared. Griswold speaks of the Heaven Stone that was destined for the Enclave located in the East. It was being taken there for further study. This stone glowed with an energy that somehow granted vision beyond that which a normal man could possess. I do not know what secrets it holds, my friend, but finding this stone would certainly prove most valuable. Well, what can I do for you? Demons stole Ogden's sign, you say? That doesn't sound much like the atrocities I've heard of or seen. Demons are concerned with rip. What ails you, my friend? My goodness, demons running about the village at night, pillaging our homes, is nothing sacred. I hope that Ogden and Garda are all right. I suppose that they would come to see me if they were hurt. I don't know what it is they thought they could see with that rock, but I will say this. If rocks are falling from the sky, you would better be careful. Kind of fell drinking peace? You know what I think? Somebody took that sign. They're gonna want lots of money for it. If I was Ogden, well, I'm not. But if I was, I'd just buy a new sign with some pretty drawing. Maybe a nice mug of ale or a piece of cheese. I used to have a nice ring. It was a really expensive one. Blue and green and red and silver. Don't remember what happened to it, though. I really miss that ring. Good day. How may I serve you? Oh my, is that where the sign went? My grandmother and I must have slept right through the whole thing. Thank the light that those monsters didn't attack the inn. Well, a caravan of some very important people did stop here, but that was quite a while ago. They had strange accents and were starting on a long journey, as I recall. I don't see how you could hope to find anything that they would have been carrying. Over here. What? Is he saying I took that? I suppose that Griswold is on his side too. Look, I got over simple sign stealing months ago. You can't turn a profit on a piece of wood. If anyone can make something out of that rock, Griswold can. He knows what he is doing. 
And as much as I try to steal his customers, I respect the quality of his work. I sense a soul in search of answers. No mortal can truly understand the mind of the demon. Never let their erratic actions confuse you, as that too may be their plan. The Heaven Stone is very powerful, and were it any but Griswold who bid you find it, I would prevent it. He will harness its powers, and its use will be for the good of us all. of life has entered my tomb. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. <laughs> I can't... Where would I put this?
Take heed and bear witness to the truths that lie herein, for they are the last legacy of the Horadrum. There is a war that rages on even now, beyond the fields that we know, between the utopian kingdoms of the high heavens and the chaotic pits of the burning hells. This war is known as the Great Conflict, and it has raged and burned longer than any of the stars in the sky. Neither side ever gains sway for long, as the forces of light and darkness constantly vie for control over all creation. Can't get there from here.
that one that kill all. You get me magic banner, or we attack. You no live with life. You kill big at least and give back magic. Go past corner and door, find that glitch. You give, you go. You, you kill at least. I can't get there from here.
alive and next time good bring to you nothing yet almost done very powerful very strong live live no pain and promise I keep I can't carry anymore something for you I am making again not kill Garbad live and give good you take this as proof I keep word. This too good for you. Very powerful. You want, you take. <laughs>
I can't get there from here. Where would I put this? The curse of our king is past, but I fear that it was only part of a greater evil at work. However, we may yet be saved from the darkness that consumes our land. For your victory is a good omen. May light guide you on your way, good master. I can't get there from here. 